how often do you get the chance to say that you have landed on the world's shortest commercial runway? This morning we are on the island of St. Martin and we are back at the airport. Apparently earlier than most people get here because we were literally the only ones in the check-in line. And this was the line for security. We didn't have plans to fly anywhere this week. However, we got an email from someone who watches our videos who heard that we were coming here and said that we had to go to the island of Seba. It's very rare that someone suggests for us to go to a place that I've never heard of before because I'm constantly doing research on where we're traveling next, but that was the case with Seba. The more research we did, the more we knew that we just had to go check it out because it's only a 15 minute flight from St. Martin. There was one thing that really stood out to us. Seba is home to the world's shortest commercial runway. It's only 400 meters long, which is slightly longer than an aircraft carrier. And I'm so scared. So after a lot of convincing, I finally talked Karen into letting us book tickets. And this morning we are flying to Seba. <laughs> Just for 24 hours. We're literally flying there, spending the day, and then flying back. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. I really enjoy small planes, Karen, not so much. How often do you get the chance to say that you have landed on the world's shortest commercial runway? And we were only 15 minutes away, so we had to do it. This is my argument that I've been making for like the past month. right now. So not only are we going to land on the smallest runway in the world, we also have to take off and land from another island first. So I have to go through the takeoff and landing twice. No one told me this before. Okay, we're about to go for takeoff number two. To be fair, I think we've been a little dramatic up to this point. It is technically the shortest commercial runway in the world, but there has never been an accident. So it should all go very smoothly. There we go. Never an accident. Statistically, Kara? Right. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine, and then we're going to get to explore an absolutely beautiful island.
but we stopped like a good 50 yards short before falling off the cliff. We yeah, that was great. Uh, it's, not, it's not your time yet. No. <laughs> Probably do. Yeah. yeah so happy we're on. here. <laughs> you did it. You survived. Yay. My heart is still beating really fast. As soon as we safely landed, we jumped in the car, drove straight up the mountain into town, and grabbed a quick bite to eat. Yum. This entire island is only five square miles. So our goal <laughs> is to see as much as possible, maybe all of it, in one afternoon. Welcome to the only beach on Saba. Saba used to be able to say it was the only Caribbean island with no beach, but then St. Martin donated a little bit of sand and they even had a sea turtle come up and put their sand to use. This is the island's main school behind me. Can you imagine going to school here? How often do you have to change the brakes on your car? <laughs> Surprisingly, not as often as you think, but... <laughs> the roads are so steep. <laughs> Wow, what a fascinating <laughs> island. It is so beautiful. Everywhere you look, you're at a viewpoint and it's super hilly. You're either going up a hill or down a hill. So having a car tour was really nice, <laughs> but it felt like we just got a small town tour. Our guide was taking us around. She was waving to all of her friends as she was driving and she was pointing out like the one police station <laughs> on the island, the one elementary school, the one post office. And then we were driving down the road and she was like, oh, that's the new cement truck the island just got. <laughs> Like, can you imagine just being so in tune with what's happening in your town that you notice a new cement truck? There's actually a medical school on the island, and what's really interesting is it takes up 25% of the population. So out of the 2,000 <laughs> people that live here, 500 of them are international students. Apparently there aren't a lot of distractions here, <laughs> except for natural ones like hiking and scuba diving. <laughs> so it's a great place to come study. And we learned that we have totally messed up with the planning of coming here because this is the fifth best place in the world to dive. Apparently it's been a marine sanctuary since the 1980s. So the marine life here is just incredible. Unfortunately, you can't fly and dive within the same 24 hours. Otherwise we would be in the water right now. So that was our afternoon. It was super fun. We just checked into our hotel and now we're gonna go walk around by foot, get some exercise and try to find a good place to watch the sunset. The longer we stay here, the more and more this really starts to feel like a small town. Like we were just walking down the road and we ran into the guy that stamped our passport into the country. <laughs> we're like, hey, we already have friends on the island. We're also having a hard time trying to figure out how to describe the vibe of this place. It is one of the most unique places we've ever been because <laughs> it's Dutch. So it's very European. Like all the houses look very European, but then there's ocean everywhere you look. And it's a Caribbean on an island. island. But it doesn't feel like super islandy either. Well, and now because like there's different ecosystems on the island and this city that we're in, I don't think, it, this town that we're in <laughs> is in a cloud forest. So we're in like a European cloud forest Caribbean town. I can see how people can be really attracted to such uniqueness. Like where else can you find a place with this combination of things? And they are proud. All of the Sabins who we've met so far never want to leave. Like we were talking to our taxi driver and there's a bunch of islands that we can like see from here. And we were asking if there were ferries that were going to the different islands. And she was like, there's just one ferry. It goes from here to St. Martin and nowhere else because we just want to stay on our island. <laughs> Nobody wants to leave. Everybody who's here wants to be here. We found a cute little terrace that likes to send I think that's what you do on the island about this time of day.
one more fun fact we learned, there's a jail here and it only has three cells that are <laughs> rarely used because... If you stole something, where would you go? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And everybody's like friends with each other, it'd be super awkward. So we are currently looking at the island of St. Martin where we came from and there's this huge rain cloud in between and there's the most isolated rainstorm I've ever seen. Like it's like maybe a span of 10 feet where it's raining. It feels crazy to be able to see where we flew from this morning. I mean, it's just right there. I feel like I could swim there if I had to. I love this other Christmas lights app. It's so 